Hi there guys, it's uh, Neil here, just going to do a quick demo of the 6 minute walk test for a male client who is diabetic and it's the initial assessment before he starts cardiac rehab for example and it's on the iPad that I'm using the 6 minute walk test app so I'll just quickly show you there that it is compatible with um, landscape mode as you can see there and if I switch it up to portrait mode there you are so the menu goes back into here which is great okay so let's start we'll go to the menu we'll go to mail I'll go pre six minute walk test and these are basically the steps that you follow to eventually submit a report so to get rid of this menu here let's just press the menu button again okay now we're in business so let's fill in these baseline observations just quickly. Oh, that's a big blood pressure. Uh, six zero there. Okay. Now, if you haven't seen the other tutorials as well, I've got Borg scales here for fatigue and shortness of breath, and also the Borg scale for the rate of perceived exertion. Okay. Now, just for example, let's put in a one, a one, and nothing there because he hasn't actually started the walk test. So the blood sugar would be, let's say, 8.8. .8. And now we're all done. We can slide on over. So now we're going to do the biometrics and to do uh, the predicted distance. So it defaults to the on-right formula. And there's also the Jenkins formula as well. Okay, on-right is mainly all blue. And the Jenkins is the black. Okay, so let's just stick with the on-right formula. Let's go 175, the weight would be 75, age. Now let's say you're really bad at calculating ages like I am. Now I'm going to use this age calculator here. Click on that and it will bring down the age calculator. So let's say you do the date of birth there. So let's say uh, 31st of May. 1958. Let's calculate that. Excellent. So now you've got the age there. So it's 54 years old uh, with four months old and also 13 days old as well. So what we're going to do now is you, you work your way down the form and there's uh, a male button and a female button. Now because we specified already that we're doing the male client, let's put that to the male. Let's press OK and let's go back and there's your age over there. So if you're really bad at calculating ages, the age calculator is there for you. Okay, and we've also got a BMI calculator there for the Jenkins formula as well. Okay, so let's uh, calculate that. So we've got 612.67 is the predicted distance for this gentleman. And as we do here, well, let's work our way down and we've got the initial and the exit button. Now, as I mentioned previously before, this is the initial assessment, so let's put this here. Excellent. So we'll say that's been added, and now we can move on. Okay, so this is where we get into calculating the actual walk test for the client. So you see this cog here? It's, this is the uh, stopwatch. So that brings it up. We'll bring that back. So let's say our track is 25 meters. The number of laps, um, you can either just input it in, or what you can do is actually bring up the stopwatch. You can start your client, and you can actually tap this, tap it again, and it'll add laps um, onto your lap. Number of laps here, so as you can see there, it's got four. So I added two more on there. Let's just delete that, and just for the example, let's say he's done uh, 23 laps. Okay, let's calculate. Okay, so be sure to press calculate first. You know, fill in these two fields and press calculate. Okay, and then not every patient is going to, you know, do a perfect lap. So you need to add the partial laps out of that 25 meters in my example per se. So let's say he only does 15 
meters in that partial lap. Now we can add that distance. Okay, so that's 590 now. So that's been added. We're all good. Let's add that to the initial. Okay, so that's the client's distance has been added to the initial assessment. Great. All right, so let's uh, swipe over and now we can actually get into reading the vital signs. So it's been about a minute. So keep an eye on your stopwatch here by bringing this up. And let's fill these in for the first minute. Let's say it was 99, 65, and 125 on 65. Now for this example, I'm just going to move right on down to the sixth minute. So let's say the 98, uh, let's say 80, 135 on 80. And let's move on to the fifth minute um, post the six minute walk test, which would look something like this. Uh -huh. Okay, no worries. So now that you're all done there, we'll just swipe over. Okay, and we're gonna do the post six minute walk test, the Borg scale and the blood glucose. So you've got your Borg scales here ready for you, or like before. Let's say it was three, three and 12. And let's say the blood sugar went down to 7.9. Now that we're all done, we can swipe over. Now, as you can see here, the client's distance, the predicted distance has all been added from when we pressed initial. Um, so we can calculate that now, which is 96.41 of the predicted distance, which is great. Now then, let's move on. Okay, so this is the exit. Now, if we were doing the exit assessment, this is where it would come up if you pressed the exit buttons, but we're not doing an exit assessment, so let's swipe on over. doesn't matter if those aren't filled. And same with the changes. The changes calculates between the initial assessment and the exit assessment. So you press this calculate button to calculate all these ones here. Okay, but we're not doing that, so let's swipe on over. And now you're ready to submit your report. But before you do, you need an internet connection, and pressing this check status button will actually check what type of internet connection that you have. So on this simulator, I am actually on my computer, and I am connected to my home Wi-Fi. So it actually detects that I'm actually on my Wi-Fi. So let's clear the status, okay, and you can actually, that refreshes it, and you can check again, and just to double check, because you really it's really important that you need an internet connection to send yourself a report. So which report do I choose? Of course, for this tutorial, we're gonna do the initial report, okay. So we're gonna bring that down now. We'll work our way down, and. We'll have a look here. We either get the male data or get the female data. So this button basically gets all those, you know, vital signs, the biometrics, the six minute walk test, you know, um, results, all that there and puts it into a form. So we need that there. Great, so success, data has been added. Okay, so that's the first thing we do. We did it on a male client and as you can see, it populated the height and the weight, okay? So, now just for this example, I'm only gonna fill in the required fields, which are the name of the client. So let's just say patient zero. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down. And let's say my name is Neil. And I'm gonna do six minute walk test at gmail. Com. And 6mwt at gmail.com is where you can actually feed back all um, your comments to me about this app. So now that's all done, I'm going to press submit. Great. So the report has been compiled and will be sent to you shortly. Please check your inbox in a few minutes. Excellent. All right. And as you can slightly see there, um, that has actually come through, so I'm going to check my inbox. 
and see if it is there. Let's refresh this. So this is my Hotmail, not my six minute walk test. So that's all come through. Let's check my Gmail account. Okay. So let's sign in. Now I'm going to uh, sign in as a different user. All right, six. Oh, that was well. Now six. Come on. How are you doing to me here, Gmail? There we go. That was well. Okay, now I'll sign in into that account. Let's wait for it. Sorry. There's a little bit of lag here when I'm running a, a screen shot. So there is the six minute walk test report. Okay. All right, so there it is that up. So hello Neil, thank you for using the six minute walk test app, there should be a PDF report and there is. So I'll download that, beautiful. And there is my PDF report. So of course I've got all those other things missing in there but that's okay because that's what I left out. So if you can file this away and uh, that's pretty much it guys so if you have any other questions or comments you know 6minutewalktest.com 6wmt.com should I say and 6wmt at gmail.com but uh, thanks for watching bye